Oh, good morning, store. What's that? Oh, what? What? Where did this come in? It was in pretty rough shape. It has a giant sticker on it, like two of them, but I was able to take the sticker off and barely any damage to the actual label. I'm gonna clean this up, test it, make sure it works. But now we have another copy of Conker's Bad Fern Day. Let's see how long this one lasts. A one item on eBay, Decidia, for 20 plus shipping. And someone on the website actually bought a fistful of boomstick, 38 plus shipping. Another online order, website, link down in the description below. Chris, thank you Chris, he got Forza Motorsports for the Xbox, no manual. And let's get that packaged up. One, two, three. There we go. Look at that. Hey, all you guys' support. If you guys are looking to trade anything in, maybe you want to sell something, maybe even looking to sell your collection, my email, levelupvideogames at gmail.com, should be in the comments down below. Hit me up, let me know what you got, send me some pictures. We'll see if we can make a deal. Everyone's for support. I'm going to get back to work. Trade in some PS2 games, of course. I just finished them. Now we got more of them. Luckily, there is a bunch of doubles in here. But in general, I want you guys to look at something. So I'll show you what we got. Hitman 2, Metal Gear Solid 2, 3, Dead to Rights, Bully, Max Payne, Devil May Cry 1, 2, 3, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, Final Fantasy 10, 10, 2, and Tekken 3. Now, here's the interesting thing. Price stickers. $24.99 for a complete Tekken. $10.99. 16. $11. $12.11. For the price charting. Take this game, for example. Priced amount. Tekken 3 for the PlayStation. Complete in box. $18. Compared to $25. Definitely pricing up their games. Uh, quite a bit actually so that's uh yeah not not happen i got to take these labels off now but we got some decent stuff in here uh i think the best one is metal gear solid 3 now this was the bundle game came as part of a set i think with one two and three or something like that i can't remember um but this is probably the best game now it says 36 um but it's around 40 bucks complete that's probably the best game in the whole lot. Be vigilant when you guys are buying games. If you can get it for cheaper on eBay or even potentially price match, try to. Finish all these, I'm going to get these labeled up. We got the Wii U, the Switch games, all the loose stuff, uh, PSP. We completed Skyrim. That one was loose and we had a uh, box for it. And then our only GameCube game. Pretty much done with the day. But I had... Custer come, come come by. He's been by a couple times. We love chatting it up, just talking about life in general and ideas. And he said to me, he was looking at Super Famicom. He's like, you know these work on Super Nintendo, right? And I was like, mm, I, no, I'm pretty sure they don't. And he's like, no, I'm pretty sure that just the tabs, similar to the N64, uh, stop it from playing. And I was like, you know what? I don't know that, but let's test it out. Never thought about testing it. Never even considered testing it. So I took a Super Nintendo apart and um, it's an US Super Nintendo without the little top on with the game. And what do you know? I ended up leveling up. Great thing about the idea of leveling up every single day, learning something new every single day, challenging your knowledge and information that you know about the world and how it works. Leveling up every single day. And I just leveled up. I didn't know that Super Famicom games actually worked on Super Nintendos from the US. I thought they were different infrastructures. So I just leveled up and a customer just definitely helped me because now I have opportunity to get Super Famicom games and maybe some of the Japanese games that I can modify the Super Nintendos to be able to work and play. And that's gonna help reduce the costs to everyone here. And to be honest, I don't think I've ever seen a video of someone actually using a Super Nintendo to play Super Famicom games until now. And blocking it are those tabs right there on the back end, similar to the N64 controller, because these don't have the tabs. You guys in the US do. So again, it's a Nintendo, another situation, similar to the N64s. This is a Japanese exclusive N64, 
I just modified the tabs so it works with both consoles or both region games. So the Super Nintendo, to my best of my knowledge at this point, can play Super Famicom games. That is awesome. Thank you guys for watching as always. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to love you.